Former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser's ex-boss is in a Michigan jail this morning. The local sheriff says that seven-year-old doctor, 70, 70 rather year old Dr. William Strample was arrested yesterday. Strample was Michigan State University's Dean of Osteopathic Medicine when Nasser worked for the school. Criminal charges are expected to be announced later today. The arrest came during an investigation of the handling of sexual assault complaints against Nasser. More than 250 women and girls, including Olympic gymnasts, accused Nasser of abusing them. He's serving prison sentences lasting more than 100 years. Dr. John LaPook has covered this story extensively. Extensively, John, good morning. Good morning. In his position as dean, William Strample oversaw Michigan State University's sports medicine clinic, which included Larry Nasser. In December, Strample announced he was taking a leave of absence due to health issues, but he has long faced criticism from victims about how he allegedly handled their complaints. I knew that he had abused me. I reported it. Michigan In 2014, Amanda Tomashow told Michigan State University that Larry Nasser sexually abused her during an exam at an MSU clinic. Michigan State University had the audacity to tell me that I did not understand the difference between sexual assault and a medical procedure. The school told Tomashow an investigation had cleared Nasser, but did not share its full conclusion with her. She was unaware the school told Nasser and his boss, William Strample, it had found significant problems with Nasser's conduct. Strample established guidelines for Nasser, like having another person in the room during sensitive procedures and limiting skin-to-skin -skin contact. Larry Nasser was cleared to practice again under new guidelines that were never actually enforced. According to an MSU police investigation last year, Strample said he did not see the need to check up on whether the guidelines were being followed. The investigation also noted at least 12 sexual assaults took place after Tomashow's 2014 report, most of them in examination rooms at MSU. I believed that the adults at MSU surrounding Larry would do the right thing. In 2016, gymnast doing. Rachel Denhollander became the first of Nasser's victims to publicly come forward. She filed reports with the police and Michigan State University, where she was treated. The response of Dean William Strample was to send an email to Larry that day and tell him, quote, good luck, I am on your side. This is the greatest scandal in the sexual abuse scandal in the history of sport. Attorney John Manley represents more than 150 of Nasser's alleged victims. If Dr. Strample covered this up and he himself engaged in misconduct, he is right now exactly where he belongs. MSU's president said last month the university was moving toward firing Strample, citing he did not act with the level of professionalism we expect from individuals. We reached out to the attorney general's office, Michigan State University, and Strample, and have not heard back. MSU police directed us to the AG's office. Boy, the shoes keep dropping in this yeah, case, they John. They certainly do. But again, we specifically don't know what he's been arrested for. Exactly. Uh, stand by and wait. We're going to have more for you later tonight on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Gore. All right. Thank, Thank you, John. John.